Hi guys, Martin88 here and welcome back to another FIFA 22 video and welcome back to another tactics video here on the channel. Um, you guys keep requesting them, so I keep doing them. It's as simple as that. Um, <clears throat> and today we are looking at 3-4-1-2, which I have to be completely honest, was a formation that I have never used before. Um, but I have, obviously I have given it a go to be able to do this. <clears throat> Put my own spin on it as usual and I am going to explain it to you the ins and outs of it so on screen right now you can see the team that i use for it obviously where i try these different formations it's maybe not always perfect the players i'm using in each position but um it's good enough you know it's good enough so the first thing that i want to say before i show you these tactics is that when you actually start using different tactics you actually realize that there's quite a lot that are very similar and you can see on screen there uh, the three four one two but really, it's not that too dissimilar, depending on the tactics and instructions that you use, than a 5-2-1-2. You see Son and Garincha on screen. They only need to be coming down slightly, and that is a 5-2-1-2. And if you enjoy that, then this isn't that alien. You don't have to rip it up and play completely different X, Y, and Z. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it's not that much different at all, some of these uh, formations. Uh, right, okay. Let's get into what you want to see. So, for me, the slight tweak of like, say, 5212 to 3412 is that this would be seen as just being a little bit more aggressive, basically. Um, and when I'm playing aggressive or I want to be on the front foot, I like to have pressure on heavy touch because you're going one way or you're going the other. If you're playing on the front foot and you want to be aggressive, then use the tactics. There's no point going on to like, drop back and balance and slow build up and stuff like that because it just doesn't work hand in hand does it at all um so yeah pressure on heavy touch for me um defensive width 45 um you'll I'll, I'll let you know now but the the wingers are on comeback on defense so if you're getting pinned back they will come back and it will kind of make it like a five at the back basically um so we want to be we want to be narrow you know we want to be narrow with that as always uh depth 50 um i think without having actual fullbacks um i wouldn't want to go too much higher so yeah 50 is okay uh, for me now build up play fast build up well like i said this is um you know really attacking formation that's on the front foot i want to go i want to go 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 so the other thing though is that when you do have fast build up on you can still create that bit of um that bit of variety that I always talk about that you need, but there's no point shying away from it if you wanna use this formation, or it could also be a good one to change into if you found yourself you know, a, a goal down or something like that, um, you wanna take it to them. That's what fast build-up play will do. Direct passing, of course, as always, you know, I absolutely love that. That just means that they'll pin them back. Your players will make those forward runs for you, so it's a must for me. Um, <clears throat> Offensive width is 55, to be honest. Could just leave that <clears throat> in all honesty. Um, players in the box, we've got six. Um, to be honest, five, eight. I don't really think that makes that much difference, to be honest. Corners and free kicks, always on one, because we're worried about the counter attack. I wish we could do more of that, actually. What annoys me is you still do that. You have three players in the box, and it'll be the three centre backs. I wish we could do something about that, um, but we can't. Hopefully next year we could. Okay, <clears throat> into the player instructions. So, <clears throat> sorry. The back three, stay back while attacking, of course, right? Um, well, in my eyes, of course, maybe not for you, but, um, you know, if we lose the ball upfield, it will take a few seconds for those wingers to get back. And if we didn't have them on stay back while attacking, that means that we could literally be in a position where we've got two centre backs, which, no, you're going to get absolutely torn apart. So, I think a big deal here is you can have your middle centre back as an absolute brute. You know, we're talking Diaz's, we're talking Varane's, Van Dyke's, players like that. But I do believe that the outside um, centre backs need to have a little bit about them, you know? And so somebody like Cancelo 
is perfect for that. Somebody who can take the ball on. Because what you don't want is, in my opinion anyway, is to have, you know, I know you couldn't do this, but three Van Dykes, as an example, where people are like, go well, on then, I'll let you have the ball with them. Try your best. What are you going to do, dribble around me? No, you're not. But if you had, Marquinhos is very good on the ball, nice and agile. He's almost like a defensive midfielder in a way. They're both comfortable with the ball. They can both take the ball up the pitch. And also, I think from a defensive point of view, they very much have the pace to cover um, at different angles. So say you, we lose the ball on the left with Son, and the um, opponent is attacking down their right-hand side, I can pull Cancelo over to be like a left-back, and we've still got our two centre-halves there, you know? Um, so it's not the end of the world. Um, so, yeah, that's my thinking behind that. The two centre-mids have on stay-back while attacking, <clears throat> but cover centre. So, like we were just talking then about the defending, you know, after a few seconds, they would have worked their way back as well. So you are still going to have bodies. You are still going to have bodies there, you know. And cover centre means that you know we're just trying to dominate that middle part of the pitch, and which is what everyone wants to do. So if they're not there and they're covering wings, it could be an argument for cover wing. But I'm all about the centre of the pitch, to be honest. Um, and like we always talk as well, from an attacking point of view, we've got five people attacking. Grincha, Son, Jota, Cantona and Eusebio, right? All doing their thing, attacking. But they can come back to De Bruyne and Bequeta and they can start the attack. Like, this is stuff that I've said before in different formations. That's what I'm saying. It's not that big a deal, some of these different formations. They are quite similar and your play styles can be quite similar as well, you know? Um, okay, so on to the cam. It's just stay forward, simple as that. We always want that cam to be exactly where they should be. To get that ball into them to you know make stuff happen, basically. Maybe a better cam than Jota, in all honesty. Um, we could do with, but you know, for the sake of this video, that's what it is. Um, the left winger and the right winger are on comeback on defence. And of course, that is only from a defensive support scenario, isn't it? That still means that from an attacking point of view, they are going to be up there and they're going to be part of your attack. Absolutely, they are. Um, words to the wise, Garincha isn't a good fit to this. Like, Son's defending stats aren't great, but he still has a bit more like of a presence about him, his body type. Um, so you could even go for, like, you know, uh, Hakimi on the right-hand side or somebody of that ilk, you know, somebody that's do a little bit of defending but it's still very much a threat going forward that is what we want and then of course as always up top if we've got the two of uh, one on getting behind one just on a balanced so we have the come short go long variation which we always like and of course if it's still the two strikers <clears throat> that's what we're going to do and in this instance it's Eusebio getting behind and Cantona coming short so guys there we have it that is the your three four one two uh tactics like i said um it might not be for everyone it is quite attacking could very much be a good one to um change into if you feel like you need to try and get on the front foot a bit and you're you know throwing caution to the wind by all means try that uh, but yeah let me know what you think drop a like on the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already if there's any other tactics you want me to cover i can't think that there's many more to be honest but if there is just of course let me know and i will do it for you okay so Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you very, very soon. Bye-bye.